this would be my first video of me just, you know, open myself up to the world, open myself up to failure, open myself up to learning. And this is on a Moana illustration because it's like a movie to get where she needed to be. She had to leave her comfort zone. She had to leave her island. And that's me right now. Uh, I need to, I believe I need to leave my island to be the artist I want to be. And that means exploring a new platform, which is YouTube. Um, one of my favorite platforms taught me a lot from two artists that basically saved me from depression. Well, I guess art also saved me from depression, but they, they woken that side of me. Oh. And so because of that, and because of their, their absence and creating those videos anymore, I want to create those videos for other artists, for inexperienced artists that need or want to know about the life of being an artist and or just achieve, achieving things that they're afraid to do, which was once me, I suppose. The difference is me versus me then and now. I'm leaving in my comfort zone. Doing what you believe you should and need to do. Especially if it makes you happy. I love art. Art's kind of the love of my life right now. It's nothing I can't... It's nothing that makes me happier than, you know... Discovering new artists, looking at things and discovering how they were made, knowing that everything spawns from art. Everything you look at is art. Your phone is art. Your TV is art. Your bed is art. Someone had to think of that. Someone had to draw that out. Put everything together and make it work. Being it... Um, Functional art or just, you know, art you stick on your wall just to appreciate. Everything is art. Your shoes are art. Like, there's not many things you can say that aren't art. Everything was created for a purpose. And with a design. We're art. As people, believe it or not, our bodies were create, created with some kind of design functional and it's beautiful to think about how we even exist in this state how does our bodies even work but you know again art so yeah um this is my first video welcome subscribe like i don't care i'm mostly doing this for me and if more people join the cause then I guess I'm, I suppose I'm doing this for you as well. Mm. I suppose this isn't the only thing I want to do. I also will be providing streams later on. Streaming my process. Probably digging deeper into the topic of a video that I post. Or, you know, just hanging out with other artists. Learning with you. Teaching with you. You know, whatever can get me and whoever's listening or watching to another point in their artist's artistic life, view, skill set. Also, Moana. Oh, my God. That was, like, the best movie. I don't care what anybody says. Frozen. I don't. Frozen is not better than Moana. I don't care what any two-year-old to seven-year-old says. Moana 
is like the icing on the cake for Disney right now. They got the cast right. They got the performance right. They got the art right. They got the actors right. I said that. But everything was right. It was, it was perfect. Seen it twice. Love Hey Hey. Almost the best part of this movie. Apparently people hate them. I don't care. The chicken did its thing. Yeah, it was just great. Currently listen to the album, the soundtrack, and phew, I can't stop. But that also has to do with Lin Mel, Lin Lin Manuel Miranda, who also did Hamilton, which I want to see next year. That is a play, a Broadway play for the ages, right there. A mixture of hip. Hip hop culture, and you know, America. A founding father, Alexander Hamilton. He he created. He created a learning tool for everybody, within that play. I didn't know anything about Alexander Hander, Hander Alexander Hamilton, till I listened to that. Broadway soundtrack. Now I find myself just googling other things about our founding fathers. Fathers, not fathers. Some of them founding fathers, but <laughs> founding fathers, and learning where exactly where we come from, and how we built this state, and hoping that Trump doesn't, you know, throw us back. Years, ages, if that, but, you know, we're at the point where we just need to let things happen and see where it goes. But one thing that the play taught me was we, we will always move forward no matter what pushes us back. We're a country founded on moving forward, being better than we were yesterday, and, you know, Hopefully, achieving the things we say we want to do. Uh, they say in America, anybody can be anything. Well, I believe in America, everyone can be everything. The thought of anybody can be anything means that there are a select few people that can't be anything. And that that sounds like the majority of us, right? No, we need to throw away that belief and say that everyone can be everything. Because who doesn't want to be everything? Who doesn't want to be the thing they want to be? And, and that's and that's for me. I want to be this amazing artist. But I also know I'm crap. I'm not going to be the best artist. I don't want to be the best artist. I want to be in a league where someone says... even. That their crappy art, that they know their crap, they can say they're better than me. Even though I think I'm better than them. Competition? No. Doesn't exist. I believe that everybody should think their art is the best, better than everybody else's art. Because we're actually in a competition with ourselves. So, that's how I feel about this. So, yeah. Hopefully, uh. Hopefully we'll get this going on in my channel. My artist name, despite being two first, is First First Class. <laughs> I said that wrong. Despite there being two first, is First Class. And uh, yeah, I'm your host, Joshua. And I hope you enjoy what I bring to the table in the coming months, years, hopefully. I want to do this even if no one's watching. Again, I said that. And I'm going to try to deliver weekly and weekly streams, even if there's no one watching. Again, I want to do this for me. I want to learn something. This is almost a journal for my sanity. This is for anybody else. Yeah, um, I think I said it before, but subscribe, like, show me some love. I want to show you some love. We exist for love. We exist for companionship. I'm going to end because I don't know what I'm saying anymore.